going on folks, Eddie here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So last time, we showed you what the 124 does in the quarter mile. Now, I'm not the greatest driver in the world, I'm okay, and I managed to get it go down the quarter in 14.1. Now, that's without watch shifting, and as John so likes to phrase it, I was granny shifting the car. Fair enough, I, I kind of was granny shifting the car. I know I can shift it quicker, but it doesn't really matter. It ran a 14.1 without putting any real effort in. That's great, super happy about that. Now, I'd say it can probably run a 13.9, but I'm not going to bother trying to get it to do that right now. I'd rather turn the power up and shoot for the low 13s. Anyhow, today, we're going to be showing you what kind of power it took to run a 14.1. Now, I really hope you're not looking for a big number, because you're not going to see a big number. You're going to see a relatively conservative number. Uh, this number is done on a two-wheel drive dyno jet, same dyno that's been used for the last two cars I've owned. I know this dyno pretty well. When it comes to Fiat's, I know there's some debate whether the dyno numbers are accurate or not. But I can tell you this, the car ran the quarter mile in the same time that a Miata of a similar weight would run the quarter mile with similar numbers. Don't worry about it, this is just going to be a number. And like I said before, we don't need to focus too much on these numbers. The only one that's important is how fast that car accelerates. And as you saw, the car accelerates all right. 14.1 at 99.6 mile an hour is really not too bad for a car with X amount of horsepower. Anyhow, why don't we take a look? Okay, so we did it. We dynoed the car. Not as much as I was expecting. We made 200 horsepower and 222 foot-pounds. Now, just to be completely clear, this is still running on just a base tune to keep it running. No real effort has been put in to make this car make any real power yet. Now, like I said earlier, we don't have time to get into tuning today, but at least we know what the car is making right now. That's about 20 more horsepower than before we put in the 1752. So really, quite content with that, for now at least. Now, next weekend we're back down here and it's tuning time, so we're gonna turn it up a bit and see what we can do. More appropriately, we're gonna turn it up and see what John can do. The fuck? What are we doing? No, John's doing nothing. Next weekend? Next weekend? You're not gonna start tuning this thing? John's gonna sit around, yell at the car, drink whiskey, eat popcorn, 